So it's each of their truths, some of which, you know, aren't pretty. But the beautiful thing is, is that I didn't change any of it. I didn't care to, you know, I get punched in the nose quite a few times and you go, that's okay. That's their truth. That's their truth. That's my truth. So I've mentioned this, uh, this documentary on Hulu. Uh, thank you. Good night. The Bon Jovi story out on April 26th, four parts. Uh, it's a, uh, I mean, it's a deep look at, you know, one of the most significant rock bands, pieces of American pop culture, whatever you want to call Bon Jovi. Um, was there any hesitation on your part to sort of let the cameras roll and, and, and share these stories and have other people share these stories? No, it was, um, it was my idea to do it. Um, and I only met with and then hired on the spot, the one and only director. Um, I had seen Gotham Chopra do a, a series on Tom Brady um, called The Man in the Arena. And it was a very different perspective to the storytelling. And of course, I'd been a fan of his dad and I thought the, the apple can't fall too far from the tree there. If he likes Tom Brady, then I'm gonna like him. And, <laughs> you know, and so for all the reasons I wanted to meet with him, and I, I said, I, I've got a quick idea, but decades, not 83 to 93, 93 to 2003, three to 13 and 13 to 23. And that's sort of how we shook hands. Um, he needed creative control, which I had no issue with. But then the parallel storyline was my operation and the throat surgery that I've been through and, and then talking to each of the guys. So it's each of their truths some of which, you know, aren't pretty. But the beautiful thing is, is that I didn't change any of it. I didn't care to, you know, I get punched in the nose quite a few times and you go, it's okay. That's their truth. That's their truth. That's my truth. And that it's all part of the process because there's nothing but love at the end of the day. You know, even though Alec has passed and Richie's no longer in the band, there's nothing but love for the guys because I couldn't be here without him. Well, and, you know, we started this conversation talking about just trying to leave that light burning a little brighter and, and, and pointing toward optimism. And there is something to allowing yourself to be punched in the face or, or confronting some of those things that actually helps you maybe have an even better sense of what it means to be optimistic. I, I have to imagine over 40 years, you've, you've learned that uh, a time or two. I think that, that it's really important to not be a narcissist, to not be thinking that you know the answers. Um, you know, I, I think that it's always best to be inquisitive and I can give you chapters in my life that guided me to the next chapter. And a case in point would be after the fifth album, which was Young Guns. We had been on a pretty high roller coaster ride, slippery into New Jersey, into Young Guns. I was, you know, on top of the world. It'd be pretty easy for us to believe our own bullshit. And I started to take acting lessons. When you talk about humility, <laughs> trust me, that's a front row seat to you stink, get out. And when you bring that humility back to the band and you say, boy, I've got some different ideas for songs. I've got this incredible humility, but I'm starting something over in the arts. Well, I've already had all this incredible experience. So although you're starting over in something, I've reached the pinnacle in something that is also in the arts, it was a great time for me. And, and that is what fueled Keep the Faith. You know, that, turning 30, getting the haircut, watching the wall come down in the Soviet Union, getting married, having your first kid, all of that comes together and you go, different perspective, got it, lock in. Man, I love that. John Bon Jovi, I, I thank you so much for hanging tonight, man. I know we're just scratching the surface. Uh, I cannot wait to see all that's to come from the release of the documentary on Hulu called Thank You, Good Night. That's out on April 26th. Uh, and then your 18th studio album, Forever, out on June 7th. It is going to be a, a great year, my friend. And uh, thank you again for hanging with us tonight.